welcome to Ukenic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset the AdBlue level. So kind of do a calibration of the AdBlue level sensor because let's say you might put AdBlue, but the car is still thinks it's empty or it's not reading the correct level. So I'm going to show you how to do that using the Ukenic scanner. So on the Ukenic scanner, select maintenance, select AdBlue, then select Mercedes. Here we're working on a ML 350, but this engine is the 3.0 liter diesel engine. Uh, it's found in so many models, E-Class, S-Class, GL 350, Sprinters, and so on. So this uh, procedure is going to be similar. So turn on the ignition, do smart VIN, press OK. This is the 642 engine. As I said, it's found it was very popular, Mercedes engine. And then you go option two, selective catalyst reduction. Select that, press OK, and then go first read the codes and clear them. Uh, but if clearing them doesn't work, go to control unit adaptations and you have two options here. And depending on what you're doing, so like if you haven't reset the AdBlue metering valve or like sensor, uh, level sensor, uh, you can go with this uh, second option here. If But if you were just filling it up and it's just not reading correctly, go to resetting the calculated fill level of the AdBlue tank select that uh, the teaching uh, procedure was successfully completed successfully the calculated fill, uh, fill level of the ad blue tank updates itself a few minutes after start of the test drive so you're gonna have to do that but basically what the car is gonna do now it just resets any values that it has for the ad blue uh, level sensor and then we'll monitor the voltages that are coming from that sensor as you're driving to recalibrate it so that should uh, reset any issues that you might have where you're not you're putting at blue and you're not reading the correct level there another thing to keep in mind is that once you do that you might have you might still have an error on the instrument cluster come back in here and instead of selecting selective calyx reduction select engine electronics and then reset any instrument control unit adaptations reset any full messages in the instrument cluster carry this one as well and then pr press ok there so whatever errors you might have on the cluster that should reset now this is going to work in majority of the cases like but it really depends what issues you have if you have a completely faulty um ad blue level sensor that's completely not reading anything i mean this is not going to fix that it's just going to fix cases where it's just not reading correctly and there might be cases as well where you're just going to have to go and replace that sensor. So if you do this and you still have full codes in these control units, they're not going away, then you might have to do some replacing some parts and you probably have codes in there to kind of point you in the right direction. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching Ukenic where you can be the mechanic.